All right, guys. Gun Circus here with you this morning. Uh, just do a little quick recap. We're sitting out here at Aretha Frankenstein's uh, in uh, Chattanooga. Uh, shows last night. Sorry I didn't broadcast right after that. I was a little disappointed, but um, I had to go out and just absolutely gorge myself. <coughs> Excuse me. I had uh, every dessert I could find, a couple waffles. <laughs> Uh, and over here at Aretha Frankenstein's, that's what they're known for, is uh, the waffles. So uh, I'm going to have some waffles again this morning. <clears throat> if we can get in here, it's taking a little while. Sinuses have been haywire up here for some reason. I don't know why. But quick recap. Uh, Tri-State did well there, but there was only three competitors in the class. I got uh, first uh, place in Tri-State uh, and uh, then overall. So I got uh, super, super cool swords uh, as a... Uh, as prizes, awards, uh, trophies. And then uh, in the master's class, which is uh, what I was really uh, wanting to fare well in, I did okay, I did second. I was beat out by a buddy of mine, Jeff Jolly. He, he came prepared, looked good. Um, I definitely had a better package, no offense to Jeff, but um, uh, really what the judges were looking for was something different. Hey Sammy, how you doing? Something different than what uh, I brought to the table, and uh, I did take the time to um, visit with the judges uh, post uh, show to get some feedback from them. And uh, quote unquote, they said um, I was too conditioned. So, and more conversation with them, the suggestion they had was to bring the same package that I brought to the table, and um, instead of pumping up backstage to add more volume. Uh, just to come out as is and um, they said that my poses I was hitting them really hard and tight which I've always practiced to do uh, however they did not uh, like the fact that I was extremely shredded they felt like you would uh, really need to bring to the table something a little more round and, uh, and uh, less defined so uh, the thought process there is number one I'm not going to pump up backstage uh, and number two, uh, instead of uh, striking my poses really hard, I'll just simply stand and, and square off my shoulders, basically. Uh, I'm doing Flex Lewis next weekend in Murfreesboro, so I'm going to do a little research before the show and see if I can understand what those guys are looking for. Uh, because if they're looking for uh, the package that I brought yesterday, then I need to be prepared to bring that package. So. Uh, if they're looking for more of the round surfer magazine model type look, then uh, I'm definitely going to take the advice that I just got from those judges and bring that to the table. Anyway, that's it for uh, the Gun Service Bro Circus broadcast um, right now. Uh, appreciate all the new followers on Periscope. Hey, thanks, Mr. McFarland. I appreciate you uh, tuning in and, uh, and following me on this. Um, we're going to be uh, back in the gym uh, tomorrow morning and uh, we'll start broadcasting again following the trek up to Flex Lewis where hopefully uh, Masters uh, will be in my grasp. My understanding is that I have uh, qualified for nationals uh, and I'm going to verify that this coming week as well with the placings that I had at this national qualifier show. So uh, I, I assume that I did qualify and if that's the case then we're going to start setting our goals on uh, uh, I, don't, I don't know if it'll happen this year because I think I've got to add some size, but uh, most definitely next year for nationals. We'll be back with you soon. Thanks for following the gun circus.